It's Tuesday the 10th of March uh, and we have a pretty standard uh, sitting week. Uh, starting at two o'clock today, uh, the Parliament will acknowledge the death of Jeanette Fitzsimons, the uh, former leader uh, of the Green Party. We'll then go on to oral questions uh, to ministers, Simon Bridges to the Prime Minister, about whether she stands by all her government's uh, statements and actions. Uh, Paul Goldsmith, uh, to the Minister of Finance uh, about whether the government is taking the necessary steps to uh, preserve jobs and strengthen the economy. James Shaw uh, to the Minister of Conservation about uh, predator-free New Zealand. Um, Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Health about the coronavirus uh, outbreak. Uh, Jamie Strange to the Minister of Finance about reports he's seen on the economy. Uh, Chris Bishop to the Minister of Transport about light rail in Auckland. Uh, Simon O'Connor to the Associate Minister uh, of Housing uh, about the State House waiting lists. Uh, Angie Warren Clark to the Minister of Health uh, about making uh, COVID 19 a quar quarantinable disease uh, to help keep the public safe. Melissa Lee to the Minister uh, for Ethnic. Communities? Does she stand by her statement the government is committed to the well-being of New Zealand's ethnic communities? Uh, Paula Bennett to the Minister of Social Development uh, on uh, coronavirus and the job seeker benefit. Kuratapu Allen to the Minister of Small Business about the uh, helping uh, small companies by having their bills paid uh, quickly. And Nicola Willis uh, to the Minister of Social Development uh, about childcare assistance. Uh, the House will then go on to the committee stages of the abortion legislation bill. That's likely to take uh, quite a lot of the afternoon uh, and the evening. There are quite a few votes to be had. Uh, when that's finished, the House will go on to the committee stages uh, of the taxation, which is mainly about uh, KiwiSaver and student loans uh, bill. And we'll finish at 10 o'clock tonight, back at 2 o'clock tomorrow.